See the game more clearly with high-definition spectacle lenses from Norville Opticians. Well, Happy New Year, David. That was the result that uh, all of Gloucester was wanting. I think it's a result we've all been looking for. Um, the performance wasn't what we'd have liked. There were certain elements of the game that didn't go well, but ultimately today was all about the result. Um, the last couple of weeks have been disappointing, but I thought the, the, the team showed a huge amount of character. We had played, we thought, pretty well in the first half, into the wind, turned around second half, conceded a couple of, well, certainly one very soft try. And I think in the back of the last couple of weeks, it would have been very easy for us to feel sorry for ourselves. But I thought it was a huge resolve, and um, we came back and took the opportunities that came our way. So absolutely delighted for the players after two or three hard weeks training to get the result. We were particularly impressed at half-time because of the idea you said you were looking for this week, improved discipline and, and a purpose to the game. I mean, Gloucester carried the ball well into contact and they tried to play the ball out of the tackle and pose problems for the Exeter defence. That's what we're about. If you look at the players that we've got, it's something we, we can talk a lot about systems and patterns, but you've also got to be understand that from a playing point of view, it's about making sure that the, the hard work is there. Um, on the ball, off the ball. Today, the first half, probably characterised by some better field position, just despite the wind. Um, I thought a very a huge effort scrambling defence, a huge physicality in around the breakdown, and our set piece was very good. So we've talked all along about building, building results around set piece and defence, and that the first half. I think showed that very clearly. Second half, it was just back and forward. It's probably hard to sum up in, in a couple of words, but we, we conceded two points too easily, but delighted to get the win. Worried about a sort of a, a mental fragility at that stage because yeah. uh, it seemed to be crumbling away again. So that the Tom Savage try, the pressure at that stage, crucially important to get on the board then. It was, especially after the, uh, not quite an intercept, but the ball bouncing along. We'd got ourselves into a very good attacking position. And then again, we conceded a try, which didn't require Exeter to make much work. But you know, I think there's, there's never been any question mark against the, about the character. There's never been any question mark about the determination, commitment, work rate, all those adjectives in this squad. Just a little bit over the last few weeks, we have a little bit of luck. We probably haven't made some good decisions and lacked a little bit of accuracy at key times. Today, you know, probably the same could be said, but we got that little bit of luck. Um, Gareth hitting the post with, with, with the last kick. Um, so today was an important start of a new year. Still now 10 games to go in, in, the, in the league. And... Um, that's given us hopefully the little bit of a kickstarter to, to gain some momentum over the next few weeks. The scrimmage seemed to be an important aspect of Gloucester's game today. Uh, it seemed to be going forward strongly. Can, can we ask, uh, what's the thinking? Was it John Afoa, four minutes from the end, is, is taken from the field? Is, is that uh, injury, fresh legs? That was the case. I think if you look back over the course of the last month, um, a couple of our performances have been characterised by penalties at scrum time. The last couple of weeks we've been very good at something we've worked very, very hard at in training. Um, in terms of John's substitution, it was very much an injury one. He, he'd been struggling with a little bit of an injury for the last 15, 20 minutes. But again, um, in terms of digging in uh, and, and showing that character and commitment we wanted and we asked, I, I thought he epitomised everything today. An important, uh, an important result in preparations for next Friday's game. Saracens at home, that's a biggie. Well, everybody knows we're not hiding from the fact that the last two weeks, in terms of the results losing at King's home, have been disappointing. We've all known that King's home is somewhere we want to establish as a, as a very difficult place to come and play. That we, we, we again showed elements of that against Wasp, but didn't get the result. So, look, we all know Saracens are a top team. They've been very successful the last few years. Today was a great was a great result for us. Next week to beat Saracens, we need a, another top performance, but a better performance. Well, all Gloucester followers have enjoyed this today. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks very much. Thanks. Thanks.